Okay, this is going to be attempt number three or four uh, to do the background. So I've decided what I'm going to do is um, try and film it again, of course, and I'm going to time myself. So I'm going to give myself about 10 minutes. What I think what went wrong yesterday with my film, and it really, you know, it's neither here nor there, but I was trying to get a better quality film for you all and I think that's why it was taking so long to download so here we go I'm gonna shoot for 10 minutes and uh, break up these demos into as many parts as it takes and get them posted for all of you guys you've been so patient um, okay background I know in the video I you know they showed you a little bit about you know the jungle part that goes on over here this is the finished piece that um, I I painted. Um, I guess I painted it years ago, um, and and over the years, yeah, I, I, it takes a while to get to get this detailed um, type of jungle feel to it, and usually the DVDs don't do it justice because just because there's just not enough time. Um, so uh, the background generally gets um, sped up and it um, gets eliminated. That's why I thought it'd be fun for this course to concentrate on the background. And I feel that I have failed miserably getting the information to you, but we will work at it again. I do not, I, I'm just like my students. I have tenacity and perseverance. So here we go. Um, where I left you off, uh, maybe on the video, we were crisscrossing and doing some wet into wet um, techniques right here. Um, and I'll come back to this in a sec because this can be elaborated even more. But just to recap, let's come back over here in this area and I'm going to show you what I mean about the wet into wet technique. Now, um, you can see in my palette right here, I have I have four colors. I have my Windsor Blue. It could be Windsor Blue Red Shade, Green Shade. It doesn't have to be Windsor Blue. It can be any dark dark blue that you like. Um, some people like the um, ultramarine blue. Some people like um, uh, like uh, maybe an it, not as dark as an indigo because uh, that might start off a little too dark. But I I know indigo was one of my favorites for a long time. Um, okay, so any blue will do. Windsor blue will um, is happens to be in my palette. This is Windsor green blue shade. It's like a phthalo green. And then we have um, permanent rose and we have our transparent yellow. In my videos, um, since they were shot many years ago, um, well, not all of them, but this particular one was. I added, I believe I might have had quinacridone gold or burnt sienna, um, and that was, you know, those were my pigments that I liked in my palette, but over the years I have um, eliminated a lot of colors, and I've had, I have a minimal palette, and I'm th hoping that someday it's kind of a universal palette where, you know, we can all, whatever brand you like, you can use it. Okay, so... Uh, permanent rose. I'm going to start by mixing uh, these uh, transparent yellow permanent rose together. You can get some very beautiful um, burnt siennas and earth tones from these two colors mixed. Okay, that's why I that's why I like this uh, minimal palette. So you can get golds, you can get oranges, you can get um, yeah. So you can add a little bit more yellow, of course, and you can just see. This, this reminds me of quinacridone gold right here. And you save yourself a lot of money. So you're going to get a darker orange right here. Now if we add a little bit of a blue, you're going to get browns. Okay? So this, to me, is just perfect. Here we have our Windsor Green Blue Shade. It's a very beautiful color. It's very intense. Um, generally, you know... I can't think of any time that I've just taken, um, well, maybe with a glaze or something, 
The phthalo green is just so intense. It generally I mix something in to um, to it use. I use it to get my grays. I'll use it to get a, a muted green. So here we go. I'm and that's what I'm doing. I'm adding my Windsor green uh, blue shade, aka phthalo green. And look, this is how we're going to get some deep dark greens. And you can get a variety of greens right here too. Now, the one color that is missing from my palette right now is the permanent alizarin crimson. That I and that's my go-to color. And um, adding a little uh, blue there. I'm um, right now as I'm talking, I'm I'm mixing my variety of colors that I want in my background. And I want you to see the palette because it's really important. On it's. Um, I like having lots of colors ready to go because I'm kind of um, I'm kind of funny that way. I I won't stop to remix a new color. I'll just keep, keep trying to see what works in my palette um, because sometimes you're just in the moment and and that's and that's kind of I think it's just a natural thing that you just want to keep that moment going and you don't want to stop get the paint remix. Okay. So here we go. Here's a nice variety of colors. Okay, do you see it? So I'm going to lay that flat right for right now. Now I'm going to take um, I'm going to just take some water here, and I'm going to drop some water right on here. Now I'm actually going to make it. Um, I'm going to put a little blue in my brush because I want you to see. Because um, the clear water, of course, doesn't show up on the camera, and I'm hoping that this does. Yes, it does. It's very light. And there you go. So you're going to drop this in and and then begin the process. Now, this process controlling. Oh, it's kind of a um, control wet into wet technique. Um, so you take your pigment. Get it a little bit thicker. See that? Uh, let's see if you can see. I want you to see the consistency right here. It's thicker than normal, and, and you can take it and drop it right here, and it sticks within this wet into wet technique. See that? It has. It just kind of sticks, but but yet it softens on the edges. So you get this nice um, you get this nice movement, and you still can control it a little bit. Okay. Now let's say you're like me and it's warm out and you've dropped water down and it starts to dry on you just add a little bit more water and then I'm gonna come over here and just start picking colors from my palette all my pre-mixed colors and just start dropping it in and um, you know you can go for you know whatever whatever colors you want like I'm gonna add a little bit of red in there like there's a maybe one of those poppies are way back in the distance and they're hiding back there and then dropping a little bit more. So this is kind of fun. It's a it's an it's abstract ish and um and it it's loose and it's not too um it's 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 a, it's a wonderful process cuz after painting all of this detail here, it's nice to come over here and just be, have your have your pigments um float and you get to drop color in. You don't have to be so mindful about it and give it all, you know, so many different thoughts um, that's happening within this area. This is just controlled fun um, for me, anyway. <laughs> I like it. Um, so yeah. So sometimes, like, let's say, let's say you want to. Um, I have a lot of transparent yellow right on my brush. It's a nice thick glob, and you can drop that right back in again, and then. And then let that blend. Okay. You don't want to not too many brush strokes because you want it to stay um, separated. And I'm going to bring this up closer to the camera so you can take a better look. Okay. So this is the one I just did. I did that one in, on another demo, but that's the one I just did. Okay. And I'm going to hold it there for one sec so you all can see. Okay. All righty. Now, here's the, the rule of thumb for this is, do you see how it's brown here, brown on both sides, but this side it's not? Well, 
is that going to drive me crazy? Mm, not so much because, yes, it will. Yes, it will. <laughs> um, I take that back. So I'm going to add a little bit of green on this side and on that side. So it looks like it's a continuation on both sides of this stem right here. Okay. And you just kind of make it um, work in there. And you can bring even a little shadow over, if you like, right at that point in time, right over on the stem. Okay. There we go. Lighten it a little bit. Let it drop on down. Okay. So, see, now with that, with, oh, my time is up. Okay, two more seconds. So with that, with that little bit of, um, movement it, it it all kind of it flows a little bit more let's see did I get that in the camera okay so I'm gonna stop now and I'm gonna come back and I'll continue on with a little bit more of our background okay see you in a sec <laughs> 